Okay, so now that you have built the pages of your website, you're going to want to start adding content. And the way you do that is by going to this build button along the top of your toolbar here. So go ahead and click that one. And you'll see a whole lot of buttons along the left here. So if you scroll down, there are quite a number of them. Um, and these are all the different things you can add to your website. So the two tools that you're going to be using the most for your site um, are the title and text buttons. And to add those to your page, it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping. So I want a nice big title on this page. So I click that, hold it down, drag it all the way over, and you can see that slim blue line here is where it's going to drop. So let go, and it will drop in there. You can now see that title is there. And you can do the same thing for text. So click it down, hold it, and you can see that blue line is where it's going to drop. So now that you have those in there, um, you just click to customize. So I'm going to call this one um, how to add content. Um, and from here, you can use these tabs along here to customize. So I might like this to be in bold, or I might like it to be underlined in italics. I might like to make it bigger or smaller. Um, you might like to change the color here. So you can choose from these options or even um, further customize over on the right. Um, and you can also play with the alignment, so how it sits on the page, much like in Word. So um, you simply click and edit. You can also copy and paste. So I'm going to get a piece of text that I've put together, highlight it, copy, and then paste it straight in. Um, if you have any formatting from that text, Weebly will remove it because you'll want to play with the formatting within Weebly itself just so that it matches the rest of your page. Um, and you can also add things like <clears throat> dot points, you can add um, a numbered list, and the list goes on. So have a bit of a go and start building some titles and text in your page.